duper highly requested video and that is my everyday makeup routine. I get asked to do this video all the time and I'm doing it for you right now. If I look right here or right here that's because I'm looking in like a mirror and a viewfinder. So <laughs> some days I wear less makeup than this, some days I wear more makeup than this. It just kind of depends on the day. First, I normally start out with a foundation. This is CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I'm in the color... Hmm, ivory. Lightest color, because I'm light. Sometimes I will just skip to concealer and like powder and all that stuff, but since my face... You can't even see it because like the lighting's washing out, which is like great in my opinion. Um, my face hasn't been very nice to me recently, so I am going to use foundation. Like I said, sometimes I do skip it. I always use a beauty blender. This one's extremely dirty. I need to get a new one, but whatever. I've used this foundation for like two years now, I think. I really like it. So I just put a pump of that onto the back or like the bottom of the beauty blender. And I just dab that onto my face. I always start with like my cheeks and then my forehead and chin. I just, it's always what I've done. Then I'm just going to blend that out. <music> I really like this foundation, by the way, just saying. I know, I was trying to fill like the awkward silence. Done. So then I like to do my under eye concealer because I have terrible like bags under my eyes because I don't really sleep a lot. And oh, if you're wondering what this is, this is my mirror. Did I mention that? I don't know. I have two products that I will really use. I have a high-end and... <sighs> Great. I'm a hot mess. Nice to meet you. I just threw it in the trash can. No, 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 no. This thing just fell on my phone and it just cracked. Raise your hand if you're having bad luck today. Me. So I have two under eye concealers. One is high end and one is drugstore. The high end one is Urban Decay Naked Skin. I am in the color Fair, which is the lightest color. And then the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer which I'm also in the lightest color for. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin because this is like newer and I've just been trying this out, but I also like this one if you want like a drugstore. They're not like exactly the same, but I like them both for under my eyes. I really like the Naked Skin one because the applicator is so cool. I mentioned this in my favorites. I think it's awesome. So what I like to do is just apply this under my eyes Sort of like a triangle on my chin and on my forehead and then I will turn it over to the other side and apply that under my eyes and sometimes I'll just put it on my it's called your brow bone I cannot remember what it's called whoa I look crazy right now this is actually super light, so it looks like I'm wearing like a lot of makeup right now, but I swear I'm not. And with my beauty blender, it has hair on it. I'm just going to blend that out. I'm like dabbing motions. My lip always makes like a cool noise when I do that. I always like to save my under eyes for last when I like blend it out. I don't know, I've just always done that. I'm weird. I put on my brow bone because I don't normally apply eyeshadow, so this just kind of cancels out some of the veins in darkness. So since my eyes crease really easily, I'm going to take this Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. It's just a translucent loose powder. And what I'm going to do is just set that before I apply like any of my other concealer with this Real Technique <laughs> Real Techniques setting brush. So I'm just going to apply that onto my brush and just put that underneath my eyes and on my eyelid. This is super high maintenance. I know I can just use my other powder, but I just like this one because I feel like it brightens my eyes as well and it helps set it a little bit better just because it's so like fine. I really like to hit the inner corner area the most. I look really white right now. Hmm. Lovely. Sometimes I do apply a little too much like today. Oh, oops. See all 
that extra powder. Then I'm taking my Boing Concealer by Benefit. I love this stuff. I'm in the color 01. What I'm going to be doing is taking an angled brush. This I used to use for my eyebrows and I accidentally used it for my concealer one day and I actually really like it. Can't see anything right now because lighting's washing my face out, which is actually kind of great. But I just apply a little bit onto the brush and what I do is I just put it onto wherever I need and then I just kind of blend and like blur the edges out. This color actually used to be too light for me and now it's too dark, which is awesome. My skin has not been very nice to me recently, so. I don't cover everything, I just kind of like cover the big stuff that I feel super insecure about. Then I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is my favorite powder, it's awesome. And I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and just kind of put it in here and then just pat it on my face. I really like using the Beauty Blender because I kind of go a little overboard with powder and it really helps control how much I'm using. So I just kind of pat that onto my face. This also adds like extra coverage. So that's super weird. Okay, I look really white right now, sorry. I've said that like so many times throughout this video, it's probably really annoying. So then I am going to take some bronzer because I look extremely pale. Sometimes I don't do this, sometimes I do. Just because in the viewfinder, I feel like I look like a white, just blank thing. I'm going to apply it. I use Hoola. This is my benefit. It's like my favorite bronzer ever. And I'm also using the Real Techniques Blush Brush. I really like this because it's like huge and I can just bronze. I also have the contour brush. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends. I just kind of go for it. And sometimes it looks terrible and sometimes it looks good. It just really depends, you know? I have a huge forehead, so I'm just doing that on my forehead. I did a really bad job of that. I really should have looked into the mirror. Oh, the viewfinder. Blush also, this is Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso. Taking this on an angled Sigma brush and yeah. Now I'm gonna blend because I did a terrible job with the bronzer, honestly, so. way too heavy handed. I don't normally fill in my eyebrows and I know one day I'm gonna look at myself and be like why didn't you do this you look so stupid but I just I don't do it so I normally just take a spoolie and I'll just comb them out and eyebrows. On a daily basis I don't wear eyeshadow and if I do it's just trying out something I don't have like a set look for if I do every day but sometimes what I will do is take this Urban Decay brush and I normally have like Naked or Naked 2 from Urban Decay on it and I will just run that through my crease and on my lower lash line with whatever product is on it already and it just kind of adds some like dimension into my eyes. Then I like to curl my eyelashes. I'm using this Tarte Eyelash Curler. I will normally use one of two mascaras, either Benefit The Real or Roller Lash by Benefit as well. I personally like The Real better. I just like the way it looks on my eyelashes and I like how it like lasts and wears. I just think it's better personally. And I'm just going to apply that to my eyelashes and lower lashes. I don't normally put a ton of mascara on my lower lashes just because I'm afraid I'm going to like mess it up. A lot of the times in the morning when I'm putting mascara on, I always like yawn or like sneeze. I think it's everywhere. Yeah, I really just wear like face makeup and mascara on like a daily basis just because I'm super lazy. A lot of mascara on my lower lashes today. Normally I don't. Ooh, I feel like I look like a clown. So that is what I wear every day. Cause I love you more than you think I do. And I love you now you don't want me to. Cause I love you more than you think I do. And I love you now you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye! I love you! Mwah.